Welcome back to Mondo Musings. I'm your presenter, Nicardo McLean. And in this video, I'll be going through my first Jamaican women's 100 meter form chart of the season. But before I dive into that, I just want to share a bit of the methodology behind the madness. So please do bear with me. Now, Jonas Marika's wind and altitude adjustment calculator, despite any inherent faults, provides a basis for equalizing, loosely speaking, sprint performances produced under various wind conditions and at a variety of elevations. It is one of the foundations of the form charting model that I've been working on over the last few years, which produces a composite ranking from how 100-meter athletes stack up in three areas based on their times, whether wind-aided or impeded, as opposed to what you'll find on a performance list from World Athletics, say. Now let's take a quick look back at how the athletes ranked 10 to 1 on last year's final Jamaican women's 100 meter form chart using this model ultimately did at nationals. At number 10 was Natasha Morrison, who ended up finishing 7th in the final. 9th going in, Shakoria Wallace just missed the final, placing 10th overall. 8th ranked Ramona Burchill outperformed her pre-vet ranking with a 5th place finish. Meanwhile, Kevona Davis, who stood in 7th position, failed to show up for her semi. Natalia White, seated 6th going in, retained that slot when all was said and done. 5th ranked Brianna Williams, meanwhile, crossed the line a spot higher in fourth. The fourth seed, Kemba Nelson, advanced two places to claim a surprise silver medal. There was a similarly significant bump for Sharika Jackson, who turned third into a first national 100-meter title. On the other hand, Elaine thompson Hira slid back just a bit from second to third. And of course, pre-meet number one, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price strategically aborted her campaign in the semis. Now, with that out of the way, Here's the way too early version of the chart for the ongoing season updated to Sunday of last week. At number 10 is 2022 World Champs rep Kemba Nelson, who kicked off her season with a solid series at the Nakat New Life Invitational in the Bahamas on Saturday. The better of her runs was a season's best 11.27. Making her debut on our countdown in ninth position is ex Heidel and current Ohio State speedster Yannick Dale, who has really come into her own over the last few seasons. A personal best 11.17 at the recent Big Ten Championship sets her up to potentially compete in the Bills at the NCAA Championships for the second year running. Sprint tech Sasha Lee Forbes, who features in position number 8, was at her smooth sprinting best as she easily dispatched a talented field, including Nelson and Tia Clayton, at the aforementioned New Life meet. It obviously is early, but her 11.17 SB there suggests that resetting her existing 11.10 personal best could well be on the cards in the coming weeks. If not for an unfortunate injury apparently sustained while blistering an 11.17 seasonal best in her girls class 1 100 meter semi at champs, there's every chance that world U20 silver medalist Serena Cole would have been much higher up than 7th on this list. The way she went stride for stride with sub-11 sensation Alana Reed in the high school girls championship of America 4x1 relay at Penn's suggested that she too may just be in 10-9 shape. More known for her exploits over the 33-inch barriers or a sixth placer, Akira Nugent continues to give every indication that she's a formidable force with only a 100-meter strip of track in front of her. Four 11-1 times in four races this season for the Arkansas Razorback, highlighted by an 11-1-2 best, is the type of consistency of which even 100-meter specialists dream. At number five is Ashanti Moore, whose pair of 11-10s at the Adidas Atlanta City Games would have equaled her two-year-old PB, if not for the fact that the temporary track was uncertified. No worries though, the gifted ex heidel athlete's official 11-12 season's best into a headwind at that to win her section at the Michael Johnson Invitational, where she defeated the likes of Abby Steiner and a Navia battle, suggests that an 11-0 clocking is just around the corner. 
the mercurial Kevona Davis clocks in at number four. On the back of her season's best 1104, behind a streaking Julian Alfred at the Big 12 Outdoor Championships. Is this the year that she finally cashes her immense talent in for a senior global championships ticket? Only time will tell. Third is where we find veteran Natasha Morrison, who sped to an 11.08 SB in her heat at Velocity Fest 13 on April 22nd. Current Heidel student and University of Oregon commit Alana Reed occupies the runner-up spot after putting together an early season for the ages. Her national junior record 1092 at champs is faster than the PBs of all but five active Jamaican sprinters. And at number one is Sharika Jackson, who looked as smooth as a stick of butter while strolling to a national leading 1082 time in the final at Velocity Fest 13. On the evidence of what we've seen so far, it's highly likely that a 10-6 performance will come later on in the season. So that's it for this installment of Mondo Musings. No, you surely would have noticed that the likes of five-time reigning world champ Shellyann Fraser Price and double double Olympic champion Elaine Thompson Hira are absent from our list. And this is, of course, due to the fact that they have not raced over the distance so far this season. Freshly minted sub-11 woman and rising sprint star Kiara Grant, the Clemson student, was also excluded on a bit of a technicality as there is a tourist minimum requirement for charting purposes. I really don't think you can determine form based on one race and that is the only performance that she's turned in over the 100 meter distance this year that 1099 that she ran back in april so we look forward to seeing her at the ncaa regional championships for the eastern section of the united states and hopefully from there she'll be able to qualify for nationals giving us a larger sample size for our next form chart no i'd love to hear your thoughts on this initial chart apart from two of the three sweep sisters is there anyone else who you think is a big miss on this list let me know what's on your mind in the comment section and just in case you're wondering about the men's version that's currently in the works so you can look out for that in the coming weeks thanks as always for checking out the content until next time peeps godspeed